Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. The purpose of making this video on champagne is to educate my friends from non-hotel management background. The video will give an insight about what is champagne, difference between a sparkling wine and champagne, history of champagne and ways to enjoy your champagne. I do firmly believe that at the end of the presentation, one will certainly have better knowledge about champagne and could easily hold a social conversation even with a wine sommelier. The name conjure an image of celebration and of romance. The most northerly of France's fine wine regions, Champagne is the source of world's finest sparkling wines. Wines Wine is an alcoholic beverage made from grapes. History of wines The earliest known traces of wines are from Georgia, 6000 before Christ. Iran, also known as Persia, 5000 BC and Sicily, 4000 BC. Types of Wines Wines may be broadly classified as below. Red wine, white wine, rosé wine, desert or sweet wine and sparkling wine. Difference between sparkling wines and champagne. Most important part of the presentation. Many of my friends referring to any sparkling wine as champagne and the very reason for making this presentation. Especially my Punjabi friends toasting with a sparkling wine and saying, Okay, champagne kholange, enjoy karange, uravange. Dosto, those, that's not champagne, that is a sparkling wine and Indian made sparkling wine. So coming back, what is the difference between a sparkling wine and champagne? All champagnes are sparkling wines, but all sparkling wines are not champagne. What does that mean? Easy and short answer is that sparkling wine can be called champagne. If it's come from the Champagne region of France, which is the northerly region of France. An example to correlate for all my friends from non-hotel management background is all Alfenso are mangoes, but all mangoes are not Alfenso. History of Champagne this is the most interesting part of the presentation. Yes, the difference between the sparkling wine and champagne was the most important part. History is the most interesting part. Why the most interesting? Winemakers never made wine as sparkling. It was an accident. Although it was the winemakers of the champagne region itself, who had perfected the various techniques associated with producing quality sparkling wine the world over, they would have not done so had the metropolitan English or the high class English population not developed a taste for deliberately spoiled wine. Yes, you heard it right, the spoiled wine, for there were no two ways about it. Effervescence, or popularly known as fizz or sparkle, was considered a liability in the cold northerly climate of Champagne. The problem often arose when the slow fermentation of a delicate and high acidic wine was interrupted by a sharp dropping cellar temperature as the winter came on. When the time came to bottle the wine, 
the following spring, there was often a certain amount of residual sugar left from uncompleted fermentation. As the weather warmed up again, the yeast that had laid dormant in the wine over the winter now came back to life in the bottle and began feeding on the sugar once more. This time, however, the carbon dioxide gas that the fermentation process creates had nowhere to escape. So it dissolved into the wine until such time as the bottle was opened. Whereupon, the heart would sink of the Somalia or the wine experts at the discovery of another wrenchingly fizzy disaster. To summarize it, friends, the sparkling wine that we love today was only possible because of our English friends who liked the wine which was considered a spoiled wine before it was even invented. Few good to know facts about Champagne. Father of Champagne is Dom Perignon. Dom Perignon is named after the Benedictine monk Dom Pierre Perignon. Dom Perignon is always a vintage Champagne, meaning that it is not made in a weak years and all grapes used to make the wine were harvested in the same year. Taste of Dom Perignon, certainly the best champagne in the world. Taste is of citrus, pineapple, apricot, vanilla and sweet spices. Palais combines of lively, acidic and big bursts of flavour. Glassware for champagne. Champagne is best enjoyed in a tulip glass. Tall enough to allow the bubbles and aroma to double up to the full. Few other glassware used to enjoy champagne is champagne fluid. It's a stem glass with either a tall, tempered, conical shape or elongated, slender bowl, generally holding about 180 to 300 ml, which is 6.1 to 10.1 US fluid ounce of liquid. Few popular champagne brands with pricing in Indian rupees. Dom Perignon, priced at INR 17,000. Dom Ruena, priced at approximately 11,500 INR. Loho Perrier, which is 4,000 rupees approximately, and Louis Rodre. 20,000 rupees approximately. Moy and Chandon Imperial, 4,000 rupees approximately. And Palm d'Or Champagne, 16,000 rupees approximately. Friends, whatever you plan to do this Sunday afternoon, enjoy your glass of champagne. Stay safe, stay healthy and God bless.